I've always thought it could be big, and I would say that Keith West is reconfirming that it has all the attributes of being big. Newfound has everything to look for. It's in the right country. It's next to infrastructure. It's near surface. Everybody said it's a Fosterville lookalike. It really is a Fosterville lookalike. You know, something comes out that just changes the game entirely, all right? And that's Keats West. This is the first discovery of mineralization on the west side, and so it's a really good harbinger of what's to come. We're very active. I would suspect we'll continue to remain active and ramping up uh, on our efforts on the west side of the fall. Thirty-two meters of uh, what? Forty-two, forty-three grams. In gold world, drill holes like this occur very seldom. Keats West is a little bit different than the, the, the main Keats zone. It has a much larger sulfide zone. And, and this latest intercept that we have of 32 meters, within there, there's a, 10 zones of very high grade mineralization interspersed with some lower grade mineralization that's really showing the strength of the system. That, that, that's very thick. Keats West is important for a number of reasons. One, the fact that they've got potentially a fourth zone, that's one. The other thing that's uh, quite critical is that it's on the western side of the Appleton Fault. So far, the three known zones are on the east side of the Appleton Fault. Most of us uh, sort of imagine that there would be nothing on the west. I think the company even imagined that there would be de minimis there. And so I'm sure this uh, discovery was very, very rewarding for them. The west side and the east side both have about nine and a half kilometers of strike length along the Appleton on the Queensway North. And so you, you're essentially doubling the strike length, right? Because so far, all of our drilling, except for a very little bit, has been focused exclusively on the east side. And now we're just opening up this new frontier on the west side. I've seen a lot of orogenic systems and you see this asymmetry across, usually across the principal structure. And you see mineralization on one side, but not the other. In this case, you see the Keats main zone and all its subordinate structures. And then you have now this new discovery, this, this Keats West. And, and there's subordinate structures, obviously, around this as well. To me, this is extraordinary. You've basically got the entire thing preserved. You kind of always knew you had something big in your hands, and it was just a matter of time before we could piece it all together. I think the Keats West discovery is going to do a lot to assure people who had doubts as to, number one, the potential scale of mineralization here. Not only does Keats West have mineralization, but as we've mentioned, that opens up the entire West Side corridor. And the, the second thing that's really impressive at Keats West is this broad mineralization. The high grade hole that we put out just the other day was running 32 meters of 42 grams. But then also there was a significant interval, an aggregate of about 19 meters running over a gram. And this is the fourth hole now where we've seen aggregate of 19 to 30 meters running in this range of one to three grams. There are broad intervals of low grade. And that's the kind of stuff that really adds a lot of ounces, a lot of tonnage, and it makes for great open pit, cheap mining, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Now, we're only a couple of holes into it, but the tenure of this mineralization seems to be very, very good. I know at Fosterville there were some thick intercepts, but uh, to see something like this, it really, really opens up the potential for that to have a lot of continuity, uh, in my opinion. Foster Bell's up 300, 400 meters deep, and this thing literally starts at surface. That's that's a giant deal. It's high grade, and the company has money in the bank. From the beginning, we've thought that the chance that our very first drill hole has such a significant intercept boded really well for finding additional zones of mineralization. And of course, that has played out with Golden Joint, Lotto, and Keats West now, and some other zones that are in their infancy starting to take some shape. With the amount of gold that we have over 
uh, such a, a long strike area and, and already having found these zones shallowly, uh, it certainly paints a picture of a multiple zone situation and ultimately will Keats end up being the most significant zone? We just don't know. And, you know, that's that's exciting. That's why I think a lot of investors love being in this game because there's a lot of holes going in and you just never know what that drill bit's going to find. Certainly it gets me excited every day. When I look at uh, what they have there, they have 105 kilometers of this strike on the Appleton Fault. They've so far explored three kilometers, found the three zones on the east side, and now we're exploring on the west side, but we're still within the three kilometers, and we've only done a little bit on the west side. So we got lots of room on the west side, and of course we got the whole other 102 kilometers to deal with. The only thing that we, we all um, have to think of is, okay, well, what's next? Right? What's next? It has a lot of good reasons to be confident. Having that gold grade being very high makes good miners out of us. Those are the kinds of hits that they ended up getting at Fosterville. Okay, here we go. 